Welcome to the Healthy Hustling Podcast. This is Dr. Broadworth um, doing a little bit of an intro here because it, the beginning of this interview got cut off, but I interviewed Dr. Mark Robinson. He is a physical therapist out in California, and he is the owner and founder of Evercore Injury Recovery. And he also, he's doing some different stuff with Active Atoms. So Active Atoms, he has a turmeric supplement and we talk about that in this episode and he really goes uh, deep into what his supplement uh, does, how, how his supplement of turmeric is different than other supplements out there and really what he's doing to try and help people with chronic pain uh, become pain-free and not only with physical therapy, but using, uh, sup the supplement active atoms and using it the right way. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode and find this very beneficial. So go ahead and give a listen. We're joining in right as he, we are talking about, he's got some different Facebook groups and support groups. And so we're just talking about his different groups to start. So just so you know, you guys enjoy this episode. Good to associate with people that are going through something similar as you. And we have one for frozen shoulder. Um, we have one for knee arthritis. I post a little bit less in that one. Um, we have one for plantar fasciitis. Uh, and that's a, a good group as well. So people like to talk about what kind of shoes that they like to wear. Um, and also one for a broken ankle and broken foot. That group is really heavy because that, that's a real severe injury when somebody fractures their lower leg and their ankle, uh, they're, they're dealing with hardware and chronic pain and inflammation and a major change in the quality of their life. And that leads to some, you know, um, you know, really challenging physical and emotional, um, kind of hardships really, you know, when you, when you hear some of these comments. So, um, it's just a good way, you know, for people to sort of, uh, provide that support for one another and, and honestly to vent too about their injury. Yeah, no, um, I know dealing with injuries is not difficult. And I think you hit on as far as just having that emotional support and that emotional being able to vent is extremely important as physical therapists. I know, you know, this, like sometimes, you know, you might just literally spend an hour more. So just listening, maybe that's the most important thing that you can do versus actually trying to like, um, do a whole bunch of different physical treatments. Sometimes the act of listening is the best thing that you can do for a person. A hundred percent. When I first started these groups just this year, actually, I, you know, I, I was all gung ho on it and I wanted to help every person in the world with these injuries. And so I was trying to uh, replicate some of the stuff that I'd done on my Instagram in these groups. I was giving tips on how to perform exercises correctly and, and giving different tips about how to actually rehab. And I just learned that I was getting better feedback by just supporting them emotionally, asking them better questions and trying to um, get information from everybody that they wouldn't typically get from anybody else. And I, and, and those types of questions, those like active listening type um, questions were, you know, leading to more engagement in the group. And so, yeah, I found that it's extremely important to help people with um, their support system. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so kind of going off of that, you, you've done a lot of different things with your, you've got the physical therapy background, but, uh, so you founded Evercore Injury Recovery. You've got the Active Atoms as well, which is, a, definitely a different route as a PT. So Active Atoms deals with the supplement turmeric, correct? And you're really looking to build that more into, a lot of different, uh, nutrition counseling and supplements. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. So it's, it's funny because when you, when you hear the word supplement, you know, people have mixed emotions. Some people really like their multivitamins. They like taking their D their zinc, magnesium, whatever it is, their turmeric. Uh, and then some people think of, you know, might have a negative connotation with supplements and as physical therapists, you know, we were sort of crafted from a similar mold. You know, we were instructed to, you know, um, you know, just work with, with the science and educate people with evidence-based exercise. And that's what we focus on. And we want to focus on exercise, posture, movement, and, and the, all these like active techniques that empower the person. 
and we don't focus too much on nutrition or supplementation and we might think of it negatively. And I thought of it negatively too, but it, this started with all my patients asking me a very similar question. A lot of people in the clinic just kept asking me about what they can do to reduce inflammation. And I kept telling them to move, exercise, be hydrated, eat better. And it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. They really wanted to know, you know, what could they do? What could they take really to potentially substitute or eliminate ibuprofen and Motrin and Advil and some of these NSAIDs. And uh, some of my patients are not actually able to take those medications because it irritates their stomach. It might cause some, uh, you know, some GI issues. And so I I started researching different things. I looked into omega-3 fatty acids and those are actually pretty good anti-inflammatories. And I, I looked at the research on, on turmeric Um, and you can go into PubMed. That's a, that's a research database and you can, uh, type in curcumin, or you can type in turmeric, and you can start to read some of the studies on it. And there are some high quality studies on turmeric supplements. There's several systematic reviews that really surprised me. I was um, surprised that there were syst- uh, systematic reviews on on turmeric, and it was shown to help people that had severe arthritis in their knee. Um, it helped to reduce pain and it helped to improve their function, specifically people that had more moderate to severe arthritis. Uh, and that was just for joint pain. And, and, and then, so that was really like how it all started. And I started looking for good products to recommend on Amazon and just, you know, kind of like casually searching so I can be like, okay, this is a good product. And I realized that you needed to take a certain dosage of the turmeric for it to be effective. And a lot of the products out there, they're, they're filling their capsules with a turmeric root powder uh, instead of a turmeric extract. And the thing that was used, the compound that was actually used in the studies was turmeric extract. Uh, and, and so that's, there's a big difference between the extract and the turmeric root powder. Um, the extract is what was shown in, in high amounts. Uh, it's about 750 to 1500 milligrams per day. Um, and people took that for about 30 days. And that is what helped with their in, overall inflammation response. And it helped improve joint function and improved pain levels. And this was, these were controlled studies. They, they looked at this compared to placebo groups um, and they used uh, uh, verifiable outcome measures like the Womack score that we use as physical therapists for, for knee pain. Um, and so there were impressive studies. And, um, and so basically a lot of these products out there, they just didn't have the right amount of turmeric extract. And I felt like people were getting ripped off really. Um, and it kind of made me upset because uh, these companies were making probably a lot of money just selling like a really weak and ineffective turmeric product. And it, it just wasn't, it wasn't really what was recommended in the studies. Yeah. Wow. Um, first off, you hit on a lot of points that I think are just excellent. Um, I think that's one of the big things about supplements, right? Is, and you're totally right as physical therapists, you know, one thing that we're, we're taught really supplements are ineffective. You got to go the active route. You got to do this, this, and this. Um, but really like when I've been out in the field and when you start to put together your clinical expertise, um, I tell my patients this, even if it's a placebo effect, ultimately I don't care unless you get better. If it's not going to harm you and you feel like it's benefiting you, then great. And the thing with supplements is people just want to make sure that they aren't getting ripped off. They aren't wasting their money and flushing it down the drain and that they're going to hopefully receive some sort of benefit. So, um, yeah, that really blows my mind with the turmeric. I, I really didn't know that you just fed me with a whole bunch of information. And I really, I have so many people that I think could benefit from this, both friends, family, former patients, um, everything like that. So that's, that's awesome that you did that much digging and everything like that. Yeah. And it's a supplement, you know, the word supplement means that you're adding it on top of something you're there's already some foundation that's built and you know, you want to be eating an anti-inflammatory diet, you know, that's sort of a buzzword, but essentially you're just eating foods that don't promote inflammation. So if you're going to eat processed foods, um, a lot of, you know, foods that are high in sugar, um, if you're going to be eating fried foods as well, you know, in combination with some sugar and high carbs, you know, that's going to lead to an inflammation response in your body. And a lot of people that are dealing with these chronic injuries, like the ones I listed and the ones that I have support groups for, like, uh, like knee arthritis or, uh, plantar fasciitis or a broken ankle or foot, you, you might have some chronic pain, uh, that's persisting for more than three months. It could be like a year or more, you know, or more. 
And so you, and there is a, a link between elevated levels of systemic inflammation um, and pain and chronic pain. And, and, and so exercise can certainly help with that. You know, people need to work on their strength training, of course, but as well, they need to be focusing on what kind of foods that they're putting into their body. And then they can supplement that with a turmeric extract supplement like active atoms. Yeah. Awesome. Um, that's, uh, you're definitely right too. not just looking at taking only a supplement, but what does your diet consist of is absolutely important. And you need to make sure that it's, it's well-rounded and that's really it with health in general, right? Is that we're well-rounded, we're eating right, we're moving, we're exercising, um, you're, you're t- doing all the things with nutrition and supplements that you need to be doing for your body specifically. So how did you get in? So you got into active atoms, right? Your story is that you really just started researching. Um, and, and so what made you say, I'm going to start active atoms, uh, with this turmeric other than kind of what you hit on is there being a lot of really poor quality supplements out there. From a a healthcare standpoint, you know, it's always been, I've always been a bit, um, you know, passionate about the opioid epidemic, you know, that kind of just got sort of maybe people, you know, think of it as being cliche, but it's a pretty big problem. You know, I've had some family members that really struggled with chronic pain. Um, my uncle actually committed suicide several years ago because of chronic pain. And he was on a lot of different medications and who knows if that messed with his mental state. So, and I've had other family members deal with opioid addictions. And so, um, it's a big problem. You know, people often, if, if, if they're have an addictive personality or they have like kind of a, this, these addictive, um, behavioral characteristics, then they're, they have a higher propensity of getting addicted to opioids. And it's really easy when you're dealing with chronic pain to kind of fall into that, that trap really. And so, um, it's, it's really a difficult thing to manage, you know, it's, and, and as a physical therapist, I think that we, um, you know, there's a lot that we can do to help them, you know, a huge amount that we can do. We're helping people with posture and with movement and with understanding the science of pain and the fact that, you know, our brain can adapt, but it's like this, we need to be, uh, treating this issue, the chronic pain epidemic, you know, with like all hands on deck. And as a physical therapist, I started to realize that I just played kind of a small, you know, like a small, but big role in this but there's so many other things that were so important as well. Uh, and that includes nutrition as well. So, yeah. um, so that, that kind of, that's part, you know, part of my, um, passion behind it when, from a healthcare, um, standpoint. And then also it, it just, it allows people to, you know, when you can get, help somebody get out of pain like that, it allows them to be more free. And that is like my other mission of my company. It's really to equip people to live with, with true and total freedom. Um, when you, when you're in pain or you feel restricted in your mobility, then you don't feel like you're, you're living your best life. You don't feel like you're living up to your highest potential. And ultimately like what drives me personally is that, um, it's that pursuit of just being better every day, being a better person, being healthier, uh, making better choices. And so, um, you know, people that are dealing with health problems, that are often linked to inflammation, you know, they're going to be, um, hindered in that pursuit, you know? And so anything that I can do to help them with that, you know, that's, that's going to be my goal really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry to hear about your uncle, uh, first off. So kind of back in the mm-hmm. bus there. Um, that's yeah, really tough. And opioids are, we've gotten ourselves in just this, awful cycle, right. With this, with healthcare, with, okay, yeah, you've got pain. Here's some, here's some pain meds. Here's some opioids, take your Vicodin, take your Norco. Um, and that's led us to, to this really epidemic. And a lot of people think that these people with these addictions that they started off, you know, that they were drug users or kind of bad people. Right. And really it's just, it's everyday people more often than not who might have a little bit of an addictive personality that they get hurt in whether it's sports, a car accident, um, anything like that. And then they're given opioids and they're hooked like that before they know it. And then 
trying to overcome that is so difficult and often it, it can lead to, they can fail. They, they can overdose. They can commit suicide. That can play a role, you know, because pain is too much. Um, it really messes with people. And so I think if you can go the natural route and we can educate people, um, on their other options and how to overcome pain and overcome these obstacles. Absolutely. It's huge. And that's what I think inspires a lot of us, um, as physical therapists and stuff to, to help people, like you said, become better. And it's funny that you say that because one of my patients today just talked to me about becoming 1% better every day. Like if you could just be 1% better, he's reading a, a book called, um, atomic habits, I think. So funny that, you know, Adam, uh, active Adam's atomic habits, but, uh, just becoming 1% better every day, you know, whether that's your physical, emotional, um, spiritual health, whatever it may be, just trying to be 1% better. And you're going to end up uh, making really, really good strides in the long run. Um, so yeah. So you mentioned inflammation uh, and helping with pain as, as far as that goes with turmeric. What are some of the other benefits and effects? Are there any bad side effects from taking turmeric as a supplement? Have you seen that? Is, should anyone not take it? Yeah, definitely. I can talk about the side effects and then maybe, and then we'll, I'll talk a little bit more, a little bit more about the benefits, some of the other benefits in addition to um, helping with joint pain and joint inflammation. Um, but so, so, so some of the side effects that you can have, it is a powerful supplement, especially if you're going to take it at higher doses, active atoms is a very high dose turmeric extract. It's 750 milligrams per capsule. So it's going to give you quite a bit of turmeric extract, which is good because it's going to provide a therapeutic benefit. But if you are, um, taking blood thinners, then it can make you bruise easily. Um, so if you're taking heparin, warfarin, or, uh, even maybe baby aspirin and, and, and you know, you did, you definitely want to check with your doctor before you start to take a, a turmeric extract supplement. And also if you, um, you know, pregnant, you don't want to be taking turmeric for different, different reasons. Um, it's just more of a higher risk, um, that you just want to check with your doctor first before I know some people still do. So you just want to check with your doctor for that. Um, if you have gallstones that are existing already, then you want to be careful with taking uh, turmeric. It's kind of a strange effect but it could, uh, exacerbate gallstones that are existing, but then there's some studies that show if they're not there, then it shows it has a preventative effect. So the jury is a little bit out on whether, um, turmeric is good for, for gallstones. Interesting. Yeah. But those are, those are some of the main ones as far as like side effects are concerned. Um, a small percentage of people when they, they actually compare turmeric to ibuprofen and to diclofenac, those are two anti, uh, anti-inflammatories. And it had fewer side effects than those. Um, some of the side effects of ibuprofen and diclofenac are uh, GI upset. So like kind of upset stomach, maybe some bloating, yeah. um, turmeric. It's, you know, it's not hundred percent clear on that too. You can get a little bit of, um, you can get a little bit of GI upset for some people. So some people, if they take it, um, they can get an upset stomach or it might cause them to feel bloating a little bit, but it's, it's more rare and it's less than what you would get with the diclofenac and the ibuprofen. So okay. other than that, um, if you have high blood pressure, that's something where turmeric can help you. You just need to check with your doctor because it actually can lower blood pressure. Um, but if you're taking medications, then that could be uh, an issue because you know, your doctor's assuming, you know, that your blood pressure is going to be, um, not changing. And so if you're taking something else, that's going to change it. You definitely want to let him or her know about that. So, but those are the main ones. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's all really good stuff. So uh, it, you mentioned the inflammation, uh, it can decrease that it can decrease blood pressure. Um, yeah, those are all really good, really good side effects. So who do you typically recommend? Uh, obviously, they should check with their doctor, but who ideally should take turmeric, who should, uh, who should be going to the active atom site? Uh, and I think you're on Amazon, correct as well? Yep. Um, yeah, we're on Amazon or our website, activeatoms.com. So who, who's the, who's your ideal people that need to check out your supplement on what you got? I think the most ideal person is really the person who's dealing with joint discomfort, um, potential inflammation from maybe working out too hard. So this might even, um, you know, if you're, if you're healthy and you just work your body hard, like you like to go to the gym a lot, you, you know, that you 
demand a lot out of your body, then this is something that can help with inflammation. Now, the people, most of the people that are taking it are people that have existing joint pain. There are people that have arthritis in their hands. Um, they have arthritis in their knee because they had an ACL tear or they had a meniscus tear. Um, these are people that have, might have sciatica or they have a, a hip injury. So they're usually dealing with some kind of pain in their body. Um, they might have swelling, they might have inflammation that they know about. And, and that those are the, the main people that are getting a benefit from it. Those are also the people who can see the benefit from it. Because if you don't have any pain, it's tough to notice whether or not it's helping. We right. know from studies that it helps with reducing levels of cytokines and, and interleukin-6 and some of these uh, inflammatory markers in the body. And you can get a blood test on this. So you can actually, that would be an interesting experiment to do with yourself. It's just to do a blood test, measure your markers of inflammation and take turmeric for like two months and then test them again. And you can see, see if your inflammation levels change. Um, and you can go to like a, you know, kind of any lab really, and probably pay cash for that, like quest diagnostics or something. So, but, um, but for everybody else, like turmeric helps for inflammation. So inflammation is pretty much the root cause of most chronic diseases. I mean, this, this goes back to like diabetes, heart disease, um, dementias, Alzheimer's, a lot of these things, like if you really look into the underlying mechanisms of these issues, it, the, the actual metabolic and cellular cellular process is inflammation. There's an inflammatory process going on, even with like COVID issues, when you're having COVID-19, which is a symptom, um, that's having respiratory distress, there's inflammation in the lungs, there's inflammation in the respiratory tract, which can lead to pneumonia. And this is like, that's actually the, the physiological process that's happening. And so inflammation is really important. I mean, um, we know as therapists that not all inflammation is bad. You know, if you have uh, just a little bit of inflammation, that's like the right normal response of the body. But if you have too much of it, it becomes excessive. And, and so, and then it becomes damaging to cells and this can lead to, to cell damage, cell death. Um, it can lead to like an overreactive immune response, which can lead to, you know, a lot of problems, like a lot of autoimmune disorders, like rheumatoid arthritis, um, irritable bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis, um, any of these autoimmune disorders are often traced back to, you know, having like a, a, a poorly regulated immune and inflammatory response. So really there, if you look at the studies on this, like we have an article on our website called the 15 benefits of turmeric. Um, and for in 2020, maybe I'll change it next year to 2021, but we have this article that lists like 15 different benefits of turmeric for a whole bunch of different issues, like digestive issues, brain health, cardiovascular health, joint health. So it's really just like a good supplement to take. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. no, it sounds like it. You, that's a lot of information. And, uh, I, I think that's really going to resonate with a lot of people. So I really appreciate that. Um, and I've learned a ton too. Uh, yeah. Is there, so if you guys, if you're interested, you need to go check out, it's called active atoms. Uh, I'll post a link and everything like that for you. Where, if people have further questions, Mark, where can they contact you? Yeah. So they can send me, uh, an email. That's probably the best way to, if you want like some personalized recommendation, or you really want to get in touch with me, it's Mark at, uh, activeatoms.com. You know, that'll be where I can respond to you, um, directly. And if you're looking to follow my Instagram, um, for that, it's at active atoms. Um, my physical therapy Instagram channel, um, is at Evercore life. You know, I give a whole bunch of free exercises on there. Um, and then we have our Facebook support groups as well. So if you head over to evercorelife.com, like all our Facebook support groups are listed there as well. So if you're looking to join one of those groups, you should be able to find it that way. And, and I have a whole bunch of articles to, uh, about different injuries. So I'm really just trying to help people as much as I can here with, with chronic pain and inflammation and injuries. Yeah, I can tell. Um, and you're doing it, you're doing an awesome job. So is there anything else you want to hit on before, uh, we call this good? No, you did a good job interviewing. I, I, I mean, I really appreciate your time. Um, and you know, as physical therapists, I, I feel like a lot of us are really trying to help people in pain. And I just, for everybody listening, I just want you to know that your physical therapist, you know, genuinely cares for you. They're trying to help you. I know some people have had some bad experiences with them, but there are so many good physical therapists that are out there. So I would just encourage you to, you know, see your, see your therapist, see your doctor as part of your healthcare team, you know, and 
don't just think that one thing is going to help you. You know, it's not just going to be this turmeric supplement. It, you know, it's not just going to be, um, you know, sometimes it's not just physical therapy alone. You know, it's not just the, the prescription medications from your doctor. It, it's just, it's the whole thing in totality. Like you got to look at everything uh, and follow the right steps and apply it right to you. And I just personally believe that a physical therapist is probably one of the best people to help you um, navigate all those decisions and package them into one effective plan. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more with that. So yeah. every, it, it, it's a multimodal approach, uh, 100%. So thanks so much, Mark, for coming on. And um, if you have any questions, anyone listening about turmeric, be sure to contact Mark, check out what he's got going on with Active Atoms. And we really appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon, Mark. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.